on uh, Tamil Nadu politics, what is my opinion? See, what I would suggest is, uh, or what I would like to share, because it's very difficult, because they are quite seniors to me. They're quite, uh, South India will play a dominant role in, in Indian politics. So we will make sure, we will make sure, we will safeguard the interests of South Indian and Dravid interests. Sir? Sir? On uh, Tamil Nadu politics, what is my opinion? See, what I would suggest is, uh, or what I would like to share, because it's very difficult, because they are quite seniors to me. They're quite... Uh, Ah, sir, sir. Are you willing to... No, no, there are two different questions, sir. He's saying something else. Yeah, not there, I don't See, it is, if it is needed, definitely I will do it. But but when it is not needed, it is more for an ideological connection than uh, because there are enough political groups are here, enough political kachis uh, are here, and there is no need to come and uh, because here my intention is not to promote myself, but I want to promote the harmony of uh, uh, the combined, uh, the collective benefit of the southern part. That's what I'm looking for. Regional diversity, I mean, regional diversity, you have to respect, sir. At the same time, regional identity, the Namma Nadu, Namma culture. Andhra culture is a part of Dravidian culture. Separate Tanya, Dravid and Pere Vekka Tevela, but cultural identity is enough. That's what I think. Here it has become a Kachi movement, I said, or a political movement. For it is a for me, it is a social movement. It is a social Kachi social movement has become a political movement, right? Each of our language, our speech, the writing, culture, everything is a part of Dravid culture. So that's how we look at it, and eventually, what whichever name you call it as, as long as we promote our culture and keep our India, uh, India cultural you know, integrated manner, I think that's more than enough. That's what we believe. Sir, sir. I'll come back, sir. I'll come back. Sir. Say so, again, we do agree. What did you say? You agree that your South Indian states are being treated Second step, step brother treatment is there, with a doubt, yeah. So, and you say that when you are giving a friend to make a good contact, I want to take the interest of South Indian states. But shouldn't this be done at the parliament level more than the grassroots level? Always the movement should be at the grassroots level first. Then, as it increases, then we can take it to the parliamentary level. If you don't have a consensus here itself, if you don't speak on the same platform, if you don't speak the same line and length, how are we going to communicate? Later to the parliament. <laughs> but, yeah.
No, no, no. It's, it's for me. It is about South India should have a, a bigger say. South India should have a quite a prominence. So it is not about few North Indian Uttar Pradesh parliamentarians should go for it. They have a bigger say. They have a greater call for the segregation of the state. South, for example, AP segregation, AP bifurcation. So we never had a say. It is about the North Indian uh, political class which had divided and people were begging and people were uh, uh, at, uh, demanding for their attention which they could not get it. And at this juncture, if you imagine the same scenario happens. For tomorrow, some issue for Tamil Nadu happens. If you, one Tamil Nadu, mere a Tamil Nadu state is uh, uh, cre creating a forward, instead of that supporting, you might need a solidarity of Andhra Pradesh, you might need a solidarity of uh, Telangana, you might need a solidarity of uh, Karnataka. So in that sense, I'm saying it is slowly. We, we, we today we are uh, putting a seed here, and one day it will become it will become a sapling. It will become plant. One day it will bear its fruit. Uh, it is more for uh, uh, to guard the interests of uh, of people. Nothing else. There is nothing. We are not anti-nation, or it's not something. It's about guarding our the interests, and we've been neglected. We've been humiliated, and somewhere we want to tell them. We want to shout loud to the nation that don't ignore us. Look at us. Understand our pain. Don't look at mere our leaders. Mere handling a handful of MPs, you're not able to. You cannot control South India. You cannot understand India, South India. You understand the people like the way Gandhiji had travelled, like the way everyone, all the nationalists had travelled. You have to understand South India. That's what my appeal uh, from this uh, stage is. Sir, 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 <laughs> no, no, they say definitely when there is a corruption, wow, rampant corruption, how, how would you keep quiet? You have to make sure that they will be sent behind bars. And uh, you cannot ignore it. And when I'm saying it's a figurative speech, it's a figurative speech. And uh, uh, it is when situation comes, but definitely you have to be that harsh when a situation. So you continuously say that? Telangana. See, when I, I chala sen, Telangana is a quite a sensitive issue. With a greater fight, with a greater for a decade fight, TRS had formed the government. And everyone rallied behind them. So that mandate has to be respected in 2014. And even, sorry, even today, I'm not pro of any party. I am, what is the best call I can take for the, to safeguard the interests of Telangana youth and uh, uh, Andhra people who settle there? So whatever my call should be, it should be able to give them a better uh, a comfort, better confidence to be there, not to make them vulnerable. A vulnerability in any that's the reason why I'm, uh, I kept myself away. So you were continuous? Hmm? Nagiri Pradhan in Chippen and the Chaitkal Kantas Chaitlan, so in which way I'm going to support, that's what it is. And while under Wuchin and Nadigit and Naduthan are Abdabuchi, even Hyderabad would have Charutha on Hyderabad, Vijavan would have Charutha on Tara. I said, I told them to leave it to your conscience, but they said, you tell us. So that's where the situation is as I'm today. Kachthanga, Kachthanga, Kachthanga. But Telangana is a unique situation. I'm telling you, it's a rupture. That's why I'm going to talk to you. Thank you. Sir, you were continuously saying that the center has a step-sister concern towards the southern states. So, do you think that the leaders of the recent times lost their hold to take a stake on the southern states? They have lost their... Say again. You have been continuously telling that the center has uh, step-sister uh, concern towards the southern states. Uh, to change that attitude, the, of the, the leaders of the recent times failed to take a hold on the southern states. 
So because uh, we have uh, lots of MPs in the southern states, but the centre is continuously neglecting the south means it's I feel the leaders fail. I understood, I understood. I feel south should have more more moral leadership. They could not, for example, Mr. Y S Jagan is there. Why he has to? Why why he could not fight for uh, a special category status? Is normally the moment he raises his voice, maybe they'll put his uh, case sheet. Uh, maybe they might show his case sheet. So he will keep so, quiet. So what we need in South India is you need a greater moral leadership like uh, Anadrai or Rajaji, or someone who is not scared of anyone apart from the. Uh, thought they believe in, apart from the ideology they believe in, you should fight for the pre pre uh, fundamental rights of uh, people. So you should not be scared of anything. As long as the business interested people go into parliament, that would be definitely uh, create a situation. It's very easy to uh, maneuver them or it's very used to scare them. So I think we have to avoid that part. So, so, it this way, the leaders of the southern are not so, that moral enough. I'm sorry? No, you have to take a more, more moral high ground. I'm not saying that not moral enough. I'm saying you have to take a more, more uh, a lot more moral high ground than what it is. Sir, uh, it's very good that you have uh, you are a leader with a um, uh, national vision. As a leader of a political party, what do you think is the major challenge in the 2019 election? So, major challenge is going to be. Uh, to sustain, a, a, you talking about as a party, as an individual, are you talking about uh, as, as the head of the party or uh, what do you want? Uh, to keep up the, to make sure people align with the thought what we have and uh, to create the trust in us and at the same time to make sure that we stay on line without uh, getting deviated from our thought, no matter what. Whatever hurdles we go through, whatever uh, tough times we go through, we would like to to maintain that uh, clay cut stand would be the toughest choice. 2019 election. Yeah, 2019 LM. That's what I'm saying. That's what my answer is. What do you want? I mean, you ex you're expecting me. You have one more answer in your mind, sir. <laughs> you're talking about the state? 2019, I'm projecting myself as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, sir. And if I become Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, I'll make sure that South India will play a dominant role in, in Indian politics. So we'll make sure. We will make sure we will safeguard the interests of South Indian and Dravid interests. Thank you, sir. Jai Hind, sir.